Hello all you shining stars and welcome to my channel, Shining Star Soup. Today is Mask Monday. It feels like it was only yesterday that I did my coconut sheet mask. Today I'm doing the revitalizing tomato, tomato sheet mask that I got in my super salad food pack mask pack at Winners for uh, $7.99 I think it was. Uh, I would never, would, like, tomato, a tomato sheet mask, I, I'm, I don't know, I would never, <laughs> I would never pick a tomato, uh, in a sheet mask for my first choice, but the coconut sheet mask worked really well, I was really impressed with this, this says, uh, tomato strong, <laughs> forget Alberta strong, apparently I'm, I'm tomato strong today. All right, with that being said, <laughs> I'm gonna jump right into uh, putting the mask on. If you don't know, if you're new to my channel, welcome. I am holding a 100 subscriber giveaway, so you can check out the details. There'll be a little pop-up window with a little eye that if you hover over it, it says subscribe for the giveaway. Okay, so we are pulling out this very drippy sheet mask. I am still nursing a cold, so if my voice sounds a little muffled, I do apologize. Next Monday, I should be on the train to 100% better. Uh, products I recommend when you have a cold, of course, uh, Barefoot Venus Mustard Bath. I find it really did awesome. Whoa, there's a lot of serum in this. It's just dripping in tomato juice. <laughs> anyway, Mustard Bath. By Barefoot Venus or I don't know if any other uh, beauty company does mustard baths check it out and uh, Dayquil and Advil cold and sinus plus all right I got my little nose flap down the nice thing that I really like about these sheet masks from this particular brand uh, is that it's easy to unfold all right and oh my gosh so these sheet masks, they do recommend you put them in the fridge, but you can keep them at room temperature. This is at room temperature. It's been sitting in my dresser along with the other five remaining masks. It is so cool, so refreshing. I this face mask set honestly went above and beyond what I was expecting from it especially at the $7.99 uh, price point the eyes are a little small the eye slots than they were in the coconut sheet mask and I'm a little unnerved by it I'll be honest it's like why what's with the tiny eyes I don't have tiny eyes, I have big eyes. Mm. Okay, I know there's a big difference from this one and the coconut one. Maybe they used a different face model. <laughs> I don't know. Either way, I'm just gonna smooth some excess into my neck there, because even the neck needs moisturizing. I got the tomato. I got the tomato. I'm not impressed with the tiny, the tiny little eye slots. That's really bugging me. So as far, this one gets a, <laughs> a zero out of ten for the, the way it's going on the face. Can you see that? I have no room. No room under my eyes. It's very unnerving. So apparently my eyelids are also getting moisturized. What do you do with that? Okay, so it's on, it's ready. I will see you guys in 15 minutes. Ciao for now. Hi, we are at about 20 minutes later. It is time to take off the mask, the tomato sheet mask. All right, just to let you guys know, I don't know how sensitive people are on the internet. Uh, I'm imagining pretty, pretty much. Uh, just want to let you know my comment about this having small eyes 
was because it had small eyes. It went over my eyelids, over my eyebrows. I could barely see. I could barely blink. So there you go. With that out of the way, I am uh, wiping the revitalizing mask. Just getting the serum. I notice uh, this is giving me a lot of shine. My skin, ironically, or maybe not so ironically, half the time I don't even know how to use that word, is a little red. It's looking a little red to me. Maybe that's the tomato coming through, or maybe my skin's irritated for, from this formula that's on this tomato sheet mask. Okay, uh, judgment on this. I did not like it as much as I liked the coconut. I would not buy this on its own. Um, maybe I'll interrupt in like five minutes or 20 minutes and be like, this mask made my skin feel awesome. But it really didn't. So this gets a, a C minus from me. I just made that up. I just made up that grading. All right, so that was another Mask Monday. Thank you so much for tuning in. And let's see what we have in store for next Monday. Man, like, May already is going quick. Uh, carrot. Poor refining. Carrot is next Monday. And I will be carrot proud. Wait. Carrot strong <laughs> instead of tomato strong. All right, with that being said, thank you so much for tuning in to my Mask Monday. I'm getting better, and I hope all you shining stars have a shining star day. Heck, have a shining star week. Thank you, and goodbye. Bye-bye. All right, I've decided that I'll probably do my 20-minute update after my 20-minute mask room, <laughs> mask um, with each video. Uh, it's 20 minutes later after the fact. My skin's feeling really tight. It's really shiny. Nothing that can't be fixed with a little bit of makeup. Am I right? With that being said, I did not really like the tomato sheet mask. It definitely, uh, but hey, it's part of the salad kit, I guess. With that being said, I hope all you shining stars have a shining star day, a shining star week. If you haven't subscribed, please do. And also follow me on my Instagram at cfrail2. Have a shining star day.